Good morning, Chapel Hill kids. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Gentry and Gemma. Like you work. Uh, you can get it set up. You guys <laughs> cereal and your whipped cream. Very oh yes, yeah, some foam will work. <laughs> This is going to be so, oh, there you go. So fun. Oh, yep. Gentry's got some. Oh, there you go. This is going to be so funny this morning. I can't wait. Bailey, are you eating your game pieces? <laughs> That's okay, because I'm going to eat some of mine, too. Me, too. Because I'm going to eat whoops. I'm not hungry. Is that Brady I hear? Yeah. He's like, give me some. I just want some. <laughs> you may, well, Gentry and Gemma, you may want either a plate or you could just, I'll tell you the game, but you may want to do a nicer version and not throw it at yourself <laughs> or each other <laughs> hi bracken it's so weird because i see bracket in one split and then bracket in another split three. <laughs> yeah look whoa <laughs> where is everybody this morning so, Courtney, I'm interested to know, did you have handcuffs? <laughs> no. <laughs> we did not. See, if I were at church, we would have it. <laughs> I know. Well, and I thought about texting you and saying, do you have any at your house that you could use? <laughs> but we never know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to tease you. Are you trying to get it? We have, like, nunchucks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Brady wants to say hi. Say hi. Hi, big boy. Yeah, he can walk now. Oh, he's a big boy. Bracken, do you have your whipped cream and your cereal? Oh, okay, so yes, Miss Nikki, we don't have those oh, things oh, yeah. either. You have shaving cream? <laughs> I don't know. Let me go look. <laughs> I'm talking to, something to stick on your face. Bailey's using like bath foam, so that could work. Do you have bath foam? She said, well, no, no, no. you're right, there's not a lot of people. Quit messaging. Just talk. <laughs> Hello, Grant and Maggie. All right, let me take him and see if I can get him to be quiet in here. I gave him two of the uh, Fruit Loops. <laughs> He's he like, wanted some. Yeah, he wanted some. Oh, yeah, there you go. All right. I mean, everybody must be sleeping in because it's Memorial Day weekend or something. We kind of stayed up late partying because Ruben's birthday was yesterday. Yeah, and I stayed up late because, we, because uh, I'm finishing up a leg I sat with mom. Oh, what kind is it? Uh, I think it was like the Lego Friends of Mia's Treehouse. Oh, yeah. It's really complicated. Awesome. <laughs> it's like really complicated. Mia's Treehouse. We were watching Back to the Future. You what? We were watching, <laughs> watching Back, Back to, to the Future. Oh, an oldie but a goodie. <sighs> Love that movie growing up. Oh, yeah. We watched, we finished up the first one. Are you going to watch the second and the third one, too? Um, we're going to watch the second one, I think, tomorrow, maybe, something like that. Hey, Bracken Welty, where is Olivia Kirkwood at? She has never logged on. She is 
she's at home, I think. You need to tell her to be logging on on Sunday mornings. Oh, she spent the night with us one day, but it wasn't Sunday. Yeah, she should spend the night on Saturday so that she could be at church on Sunday. Light bulb. Oh yeah, Lee's got it. I, I was like, yep, we're pulling your hair up. <laughs> Grant doesn't have to worry about it. Oh, Bailey's got her hair. Uh, Gentry and Gemma, do you have a hair tie at all? Uh, yeah, we have some. I'll go get some. Yeah, go get you one. <laughs> yeah, I put on an old shirt. Hey, look, Becca, stand up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are matching. Yeah. You may need to take your glasses off, Rebecca. All right, Ruben, come over here. We're going to start with you. Okay, so when y'all are ready, come here. This also works as soap, so it'll get my chin clean, too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do you guys have extra towels around? Yeah. If you need to wipe off. So, man, there's just hardly anybody on today, huh? Yeah. They're missing the fun. Hey, Lee. Are you there, Lee? Make sure uh, Carly does the Bible verse. I know you're not her mom, but I know you got some pull with her. <laughs> All right. Let's, oh, no, I forgot to hold on. He forgot to pull this up. Well, good thing I've got a little bit of time because I forgot to do some things. Our slides ready. Is that wealthy? You don't have anything to put on your face. Oh. Jesse uses shaving mousse. It's like a lotion. Yeah, well, just use it. It'll stick. Lotion? Yeah. You just need something sticky for his face for the cereal to stick on. For a second there, mom got honey out, and I thought she was using honey for me. Ooh, but, yeah. she, but she was actually just peanut using butter. Peanut butter? Then peanut I can butter. eat it. Look at Bracken's yes. face. Yeah. Bracken's a little worried. Yes, I want to use peanut butter. All right. All right. So we're going to get started. Hopefully, with some more friends jump on. Don't know, though, if they will. But, so, hello, this is your virtual jump, and I'm so glad we're here together again. It's the best part of my week. I don't know about you guys. It's the only time that I have to set an alarm around my house. So, we've, all night long, we've been talking about determination. Determination is deciding it is worth it to finish what you started, right? Anytime you feel stuck, you need to have determination in order to get unstuck. That's not always easy, but God can help us find the strength we need to keep going no matter what. So I'm determined you're going to love today's game. It is called Beard Masterpiece. All right? Beard so. Masterpiece. <laughs> so we're going to start by your... Have you ever seen your parent, your dad um, put shaving cream on? We just start by doing that first. So, so everybody needs to start putting on your, your shaving cream. Or phone. Or phone, whatever. You <laughs> moved your head. You're so yeah. face. I didn't no, it has to be weird. Nikki. Yes. Yeah. Like, how do you do it? Like, look at Ruben. Look at Ruben. You see it? Uh, I'm just going to have to like, take pieces off of this and put it on my face. Because there you I'm go. Yeah. Don't be afraid to rub it in. Gentry's ready. Okay. I need my neck. Oh, dang it. I got it in my nose. <laughs> 
You guys may no, I have I have a towel. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> God. Oh my All right. Ready? <laughs> All right, Naomi. Up there, making it fall down. Push it up with your fingers. Yeah, rub it on your face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Please don't lean over, Naomi. Gravity. You just. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is gonna be a hot mess today. All right, so get some of your, your cereal. I'm gonna use a paper plate. All right. Go. All right. All right. So some of you, like Gentry and Gemma, you may wanna throw the cereal at each other. I don't know. It depends on if your mom's going to get mad if you're throwing stuff. I don't know. Well, she did the house, so I don't get to throw. All right. Other people whose parents don't want stuff thrown in the house, get over here, Rebecca. You're going to. You guys need to be sitting now, please. Sit down. You're going to not use your hands and. Go and dip your head down and not use your hands and you're going to build a beard in one minute, right? Not sure what I can Go do. sit down, Naomi. Thank you. Mom's going to throw, throw them at mine. <laughs> Mom's going to throw them at me because she wants to. <laughs> All right, so does everybody have their cereal? This stuff seems. No, it doesn't. You use it in the bathtub all the time. It's never used it on my face. Quit crying. Dude, this stinks. You're lying. You're fine. This is the last time I'm going to put whipped cream on your all's face. So, you're up to the table, Ruben. No, I know this stuff doesn't taste good. Don't eat it. All right. <laughs> Build your head up, please. Start and then just dip down. Does it really hurt? Yes. I'm going to get some shaving cream when it really hurts. Mom's going to get some shaving cream false alarm. Okay. <laughs> because this stuff stains really bad on my face. I'm all over our floor. All right. Can you get me like a wet paper towel or something? Rachel, okay. are you playing? I'm so needy. Just wipe it off for me. I do. Okay, you should be good. We don't want to hold it tonight. <laughs> okay. Here. There you go. Get it, Mom. Come <laughs> on, get it. All right, I'm going to set my timer for one minute. And you guys are going to try to get the cereal. If your whipped cream keeps falling off, you might just use your hands and try to stick it on your face. I mean, I'll allow that if your whipped cream keeps falling off. So, I've got my timer set for one minute. We got Bailey. Are you guys ready? All right, look at me. Good set. Are you ready? Good set. And go. Your one minute. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, yes, I just feel the cereal falling everywhere. Woo, you're down to 45 seconds. Get your beard masterpiece going. Ooh, we're going to have to clean this up. Call Brady in here. He'll eat it off the floor. Brady! <laughs> oh. Maybe some of the parents were afraid to log on to have their kids see this. Who knows? You're down to 20 seconds. <laughs> Woo! Look at Gentry and Gemma. They're getting in it. You're down to 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. Oh, you guys' beard. 
Oops. There we go. There we go. Oh yes, you guys look awesome. <laughs> I can't wait to wipe this off. All right, go, go wash your faces really, really quick, guys. Go to the bathroom and wash your faces really quick. Place under you, please. Man, I got a hot mess to clean up today. Me too. <laughs> ah, look at it. On our porch. This is on our porch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my soccer ball earrings they hang down and I got um I got shaving cream on my earrings. <laughs> I got some in my hair. of the whipped cream cleaned up. All right. All right. Woo. That was fun. For me. It's fun for all, definitely. Stop. Stop now. Stop. Ruben, we're still having group calls. I'll throw it in the floor, by the way. We're still having group. Get over here. All right. Good job, guys. I'm glad you braved the beard challenge. Mom told Brady. <laughs> Mom told Brady, eat the floor sale and be quiet. <laughs> All right. Well, I am going to hand it over. What? My. Yeah. My hair got in my chimney cream. Michael, and then which one are you? You're the small well team. There you go. I think you have to unmute yourself. Oh, there you go. There we go. Sorry, my dog's being annoying. Hand right. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. Okay, hold on, because I'm gonna unmute. I'm gonna mute myself on here and unmute the bracket. So okay. that I oh. There we go. Okay, so our story today starts. We've been wait, making our way through God's big story together. We've learned all the way from the very beginning, right? So this month we've been checking out what happened after Jesus went to heaven and early church began to grow. Remember, we went from like 300 followers to 3,000 followers to 5,000 followers. Um, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came and filled a room full of believers. They were able to speak in languages they didn't know and share the good news of Jesus. 3,000 people came to know Jesus that day. Later, Peter and John told other people about Jesus, and by that point, there were more than 5,000 believers. That's a lot of people, isn't it? So some of those people, though, needed special care. They weren't able to provide food for themselves, and they needed some help. So what do you think the other people, the other believers did about that? If you saw somebody that needed help, would you help them? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Yeah, we would help them, right? Good. So the believers took care of them. The apostles, those who had been with Jesus while he was on earth, made a plan. They chose seven wise men who listened to and followed God's Holy Spirit. Their job was to make sure everyone had what they needed. So I had Bracken 
grab me some things this morning. So here's the first item, some SpaghettiOs, some food, right? So they might have needed some food. Um, one of those seven men was named Steven. So do you think Steven was a good guy or a bad guy? Give me a thumbs up if you think he was a good guy and a thumbs down if you think he was a bad guy. You're all right, good job. He was a really good guy. So this is the person that Bracken chose. Here's our superhero to represent Steven. He was a really good guy. Um, he was full of faith and full of the Holy Spirit. When someone needed help, everyone thought of Stephen. More and more people believed in Jesus as the apostles continued to teach. Meanwhile, Stephen and the other six men made sure that all the believers were cared for. So Stephen was doing what was right, but some of the religious leaders started to argue with him. The Holy Spirit gave Stephen the wisdom to be able to answer them. The religious leaders did not like that at all. So they schemed against Stephen. They made a plan against him. In secret, they convinced some men to lie about Stephen. The men started telling people they heard Stephen speak evil things against Moses, and that was a really big deal. The men even said Stephen said evil things about God. When the people heard these lies, they weren't sure what to think. How could this man of God say such things? When the religious leaders heard how the people were stirred up, what do you think they did to Stephen? Anybody have any guesses? Um, Bracken, what do you think they did to, St to Stephen? Miss Nikki gave you a clue earlier when she asked me if I had something. Put him in jail? Bracken said put him in jail. Miss Nikki earlier asked if we had any handcuffs at our house because they arrested Stephen. The religious leaders had Stephen arrested. Yep, Bailey, they put him in jail even though they knew that the rumors were a lie. So they knew that those were all lies, but they had him arrested anyway. They brought Stephen before their gathering, known as the Sanhedrin, Nikki? Okay. And, they, and then Stephen was put on a trial. So the religious leaders interviewed the men who lied about Stephen. They said that they had heard Stephen speak against Moses and the Holy Temple. And when they were saying all these things about Stephen, Stephen never got mad. He didn't get angry. He wasn't, I don't know where Chandler put my other picture, but it was supposed to be a peace sign. But Stephen never got mad. He never got angry at them. He stayed really calm. And the Bible told us that his face was like the face of an angel. He didn't worry about what the others were saying about him because he knew the truth that he was a good guy, right? The high priest asked Stephen if these accusations were true, and Stephen wanted the leaders to understand the truth about Jesus. He knew that God was with him, and he was filled with courage. Even though he knew that the religious leaders could kill him, Stephen spoke with boldness and told them how Jesus was the most important part of the plan that God had set in motion with Abraham so long ago. So we're going to go all the way back to the beginning of where we started in our story. Stephen reminded them how God called Abraham to move away from his homeland to a place God would give him. Through Abraham's descendants, God kept his promise. Abraham's son Jacob had 12 sons, and one was Joseph, who was sold into slavery and then became second in command to the Pharaoh. Through Joseph, God saved his people. Eventually, God's people became slaves in Egypt, and again, God saved his people. This time, though, it was through Moses. Finally, the people arrived in the land God had promised. Stephen went on to tell the religious leaders about King David, who loved God so much and wanted to build him a beautiful temple. Who do you think Stephen told the religious leaders about <clears throat> next? So we've started all the way from Abraham all the way up to where we are now. He told them about Jesus next. He said... He said, you stubborn people, you won't obey, you won't listen. You are just like your people of long ago. You always oppose the Holy Spirit. Was there ever a prophet your people didn't try to hurt? They even killed those who told about the coming of the blameless one. And now you have handed him over to his enemies. You have murdered him. So when uh, Stephen said this, the religious leaders were really, really angry. 
God knew what was in their hearts, so he gave Stephen a vision of heaven. God allowed Stephen to see something that no one else there could see. Stephen looked up and saw Jesus standing with God. Can you imagine seeing what heaven looks like? Jesus gave him the ability to see that. But the religious leaders didn't want to hear another word from Stephen. They just covered their ears and yelled. Isn't that crazy that religious leaders would do that? So what happened next is really, really sad. The religious leaders dragged Stephen out of the city. They left their coats with a man named Saul. They all started throwing stones at Stephen, trying to kill him. While they did this, Stephen prayed to God. He asked God not to hold this horrible act against the people. He asked God to forgive them from their sin. What faith? Even though Stephen had only done what was right, he died that day. Jesus had told his followers to live out his love everywhere, no matter what. Through God's power, Stephen had continued to share God's love all the way until his very last breath. What happened to Stephen was terrible and very sad. Maybe that wasn't how you expected our story to go today. But the good news is that this wasn't the end of the story. Remember, God showed Stephen a vision. Stephen knew that when he died, he would be with Jesus in heaven. Stephen was able to keep going because he knew that God was with him. And you and I are here to need to remember that too, right? So our bottom line is keep going because he knew, oh, sorry, our bottom line is keep going because God knows the end of the story. We know for sure how God's one big story ends. Those who follow Jesus will be with God forever in heaven. So let's pray and ask God to help us trust him. We're going to pray, okay? God, thank you for giving Stephen wisdom and strength in the middle of such an awful situation. Please give us your wisdom and strength too so we can keep going even when we don't know what will happen. We know that we can trust you no matter what because you know the end of the story. Please help us to remember that when we face difficult situations in life, thank you for sending Jesus so we can have the promise of eternal life with you. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So God has always had a big plan, a bigger story. This picture on your screen, that's part of his big, big plan. It's like Stephen said when he was talking to the religious leaders, Abraham, Moses, and David didn't know the end of the story, but they all trusted God along the way. So we can look at the Bible now and read their stories. We can see how God was faithful and came through for his people. We also know that God kept his promise and sent Jesus to save us, right? So Stephen knew this too, and he bravely taught others about Jesus, no matter the cost. And, yep. and so even though Stephen didn't know how things would end, he trusted God. He decided to stand strong in what he believed. Stephen died in an awful way, but because of his faith, he went to heaven to be with God. So remember, keep going because, because God knows the end of the story. Sometimes you go through difficult things where you can't see the end of the story, and that can be scary. Maybe one of your friends is ignoring you, and you don't know why, or maybe your parents are arguing a lot, and maybe someone you know is sick, and you're not sure what's going to happen. Even though we don't know how those situations will turn out, we can have determination because we follow God, and he does know the end of the story. So when everything feels awful, you can talk to God. If you're scared and not sure how things will turn out, tell him how you feel. Ask him to give you strength to keep going. You can also talk to an adult you trust. You don't have to be do it alone, ever. So don't keep it to yourself. Instead, find strength like Stephen did by looking to God. All right? So our Bible verse says, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. We've only got three kids left that need to do their Bible verse this month, and I will be contacting them. None of them are here this morning, but it's Carson, Carly, and Grayson, so I will shout out to their mom. Hopefully, they get it done this week, and then we can maybe slime. I don't know, and I can't seem to get this off the screen. There we go. Stop share. 
I'm going to unmute you all. There you go. Bailey, you've muted yourself. Yay. Okay. All right. So we're going to hand it over <laughs> to the wealthy who's got the, you've got a kahoot, right? Yes. Yeah. The little wealthy. Give the little wealthy. I got kahoot. Lower case wealthy. <laughs> A hoot it. We're all Kahoot pros now, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got a, oh my gosh. I'm like losing it. Which one are you? You wanted the big W or the little W? Little W. Little W? Yep. Little W. Yep. It like stops showing like my stops screen, showing my like my screen. face, whenever I face do it from the same face. one. So that's why I have two pulled up. There you go. Thank you. Hey, there you And Nikki being the first one in. Big oh, B. You come a long way. <laughs> Here's Little B. <laughs> Little B's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? What's that G word? Is that Grant? <laughs> yes. I think it's probably Grant. <laughs> We're just waiting on the Parkers. Yep. Girls, you having trouble logging in? Remember, it's kahoot.it, not .com or anything. <laughs> Who's in charge of the Hutch family? Who's in Naomi charge? today. Is Naomi? They I switch off that. every week. We're down to less than seven minutes. Girls, are you in? Yeah, they just got in. Okay. There we go. There we go. What was the job oh, of Stephen Steph and the six other men? What were they supposed to do? They, they were, were in a super rock and rock and band. Or they were walking around. People. They were painters or they were dog walkers. <laughs> what was their job? Ah, they were they're supposed to take care of people. They weren't in a super rocking band like Mr. Rob or anything. Behind the family. Oh, Bracarone. What did the religious leaders do to Stephen? They made him a huge dinner. They made him a king. They made up lies about him and had him arrested or they threw a big old party for him. What did the religious leaders do? Good job. They made up lies and had him arrested. Man, you guys are all paying attention today. Reckon. How did Stephen react to this? How did he react to being arrested? He got really angry. He got really sad. He was really happy or he stayed calm. How did he react to being arrested? Good job. He stayed calm. Wouldn't you be really mad if people made up lies about you and you got arrested? Like, I would not be able to stay calm in that situation. 
Brat's still in the lead. Come on, Hutch fam. Let's go now. <laughs> we gotta read them all. Maybe. What did Stephen tell the leaders about? Abraham, Moses, Jesus, or all of the above? Oh, that was a tricky one. <laughs> oh! Got all but one. Remember, he gotta read all of them. Abraham did this, then Moses did this, Joseph did this, and then finally he told him about Jesus. I would be ahead. Who was that one person who got it right? I would be ahead. Who was it? Bailey? Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Big B. Five players just dropped their answer street. Yeah. Um, true or false? Stephen knew that when he died, he would be in heaven with Jesus. True or false? Yeah, good job. That was true. Remember, Jesus gave him the ability to sleep. Big on fire. Last question. When everything feels awful, what should you do? Talk to God, talk to your family, keep it to yourself, or be sad. There might be two on this one that work. No, you didn't. You didn't touch it because you got to let it sit. Good job. Yeah. So you could talk to God or talk to your family, right? Both of those are things that work, but you shouldn't keep it to yourself. And you shouldn't just be sad. Man. Except for that one question. Y'all killed that one. Third place. Hutch. This is our first time on the podium. Woo! Second place, Braccaroni. Get, get it, Brack. Uh oh. Third place. Big B! With six <laughs> out of six correct. Good job. Kahoot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was our first one on the Go for it, Nikki. Say your goodbyes. All right, guys. Bye. I'm winning. Oh. See you guys next week. <laughs> Bye. 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 Ready? Ready. Bye. Bye.